hello and welcome to another video. Today I have this FRM2, it is from a BMW, one series, and we will proceed to read and write back the data from this C flash. I will open this module. We'll take the board out. And we will make the connection according to the diagrams. I will use today programmer from CG. Let's take for example CG100 and see which diagram have inside. And I will do a separate video and I will use another one, uh, CG Pro, okay? Because they have uh, different diagrams. I don't know from which reason I couldn't understand and I couldn't understand why they don't put the diagram who is much uh, easier to use, okay? We should uh, solder a few wires over here. In total we have six wires to solder it. From here I will move to PC and I will show you the connections, how we can do this. And maybe I will find better place because many of them they show us on the MCU. I forgot to tell you this one it's ST, I don't know if you are able to see, it's a ST10 F269, yes, now it's, it focused over here, okay, we will proceed to read this type of MCU, I will um, show you different connections, much, uh, much easier, I used it in the past with uh, Xprog, for this kind of job, it's not a good idea to use the Xprog, only if you have a complete rework on this one, if you don't have a stable X program mine on the clone, okay? If you had the original one, do it, you don't have a problem. But if you use a clone, you should take external power supply for this connection. And it happens when you manage to block this uh, MCU if you don't have a good um, programmer, okay? You should have stable one. You should don't have the bad components over there. If the current oscillate during the reading, you can block the MCU, okay? And after that, you are not able to read it anymore. This is a negative part when you use these clones, okay? But today, we don't care about these things. We have a good programmer, but let's see how good it is. As I said, we will use this one. I will make the connection. And I will show you a better uh, place where you can make this connection. Much easier, much simple than what the CG Pro show us on the diagrams. And we go from there, okay? I will start the programmer. You notice the antivirus blocked this programmer because they are trying to take your location. We can give a look over here. Okay. But we don't care because we have a protection. I will go to read this one through uh, programmer and we go to ST, as I said, 10 F269, this one. We have the diagrams here. These are the solder point connection. And this is the diagram who show us over here but this definitely not not this one have nothing to do with this one okay we go back and as i said in the past i uh, use different points you have over here let me to take a multimeter will be much easier for you it's important to hear, not to see. I use in the past Xprog. I know exactly where the pins are over here, and I will let you also to know from now on it will be much easier for you. Like for example, we have the number seven, okay, who is the five one with the five pin over here. But you should clean very good this one. One, two, three, four, 
three, four, five. Is this one? And if you go over here, you have a beeping, okay? Then MCU pin number five, and first one over here on the right side, okay? And you'll solder over here. When you see uh, points like this one, they are not make it because they should be here. No, they are make it because they program first the FRM, and after that they put it on the car. And do you believe the company BMW they will produce something what they cannot program outside the car no you should program outside the car and then after that they will install it in the cars okay and if you look over here we don't have another pin where you can solder where you can put the adapter only this one and so far you go to all of these connections like for example we go on the ground number 12 is the ground And it's not the last one. The last one is the power supply of this one. We clean also again this one. And let's say you don't know what this is, but as I said, from now on you will know because you have the diagram. You can use these diagrams and it will be much easier. As I said, we go on the ground and you take one after each other. Okay. You have the straight connection over here. Last one. Then you have the last pin over here. There is the plus and again from up to down. And so far. And in a few minutes you will manage to know which uh, pin goes to which side. Okay. It will be much, much easier if you make the solder here, not over here. I will solder this one. I will solder the wires here. I will make also a much simple diagram for you where you can see better, where you can have a view. We will solder this one. I go with you to all of these uh, connections because I do have subscribers who request to see this. They like to see when I solder. They would like to see all the procedure. And this is what we will do. But for that, I should start my iron station. The third one is the black one. You noticed I didn't use this one before. Okay. Then on the right side we have the pin number seven. And pin number seven according to this programmer is the orange one also similar you can do it it's first time when I use it and when you use it you should prepare your wires for better soldering Okay, then we have the sixth one also, the brown. I don't complain usually, but now it's very uh, difficult for me because I have the camera between my legs. And I don't have so much space what I want to have it when I work. Okay, and another one is pin number three. Uh, you should be careful, you have two green wires if you use this programmer but you must pay all the time attention to the programmer we use the third one it doesn't matter which color you have you should use your uh, pin according to the diagram okay and now our, our connection is done it's finished uh, after that you should Connect the programmer, don't connect the programmer when you do the soldering because you'll have a big surprise. You can not you can you'll burn your programmer. You can be sure. The programmer is connected now. It was already on the PC all the time, but it was not connected the adapter. And now we'll proceed to read this MCU, okay? This 
FRM2. You can go back if you want to have a good view, but you have over here save. You can only read the P flash. If you want to read the EEPROM, EEPROM is close to the processor, it's right over here. Okay, this one is the ST95320. You can use different type of programmers, also the XPROG, and it is much better if you desolder that uh, EEPROM, not read it over here, if you want to have 100% uh, good uh, dump, okay? And now let's proceed to read this one. Let's see how long it takes. We will compare also in another video with uh, CG Pro. I will try to read also with that one. If you will close the programmer during the reading, you are fucked because uh, you will have a bad uh, dump over here and uh, the, he will block automatically. It's not so easy to read this uh, shitty FRM2 module. It will be much better if you will uh, use the, for example, laptop where you have this one installed not on the PC like me, but now it's just for this uh, purpose of this video to show you this one. It was the multimeter who beeping because he will shut down. Let's close this one. The programmer makes his job. I don't know how can I put it. And you can see also it's flashed, flashing. Also the, on the XPROG uh, connection, they, they will show you all the time to use this connection to the uh, directly on the MCU where it's very hard to make the solder there. You have also a few joints over there you can make a little bit far from the MCU but the best position is right over here. Okay, it's finished. We read with success. We should also pay attention what we have on this module. We see readings here. And this is good. Okay. Then we save the data. All the time you should save the data. I save it on the desktop. If you pay attention, it's right here. Okay. Now, uh, it's uh, red because he finished the uh, readings. Let's uh, write the data back. Let's say we open. And we'll proceed to write. Start the power supply from the target board. Okay, I should start the power supply. I don't know from which fucking reason it's not able to start the power supply. But now he start to write. Okay, it was right with success. If you want to be sure if you have good readings or not, uh, you don't have the verify, this is uh, bad things in my opinion, you should have the verify over here, but you can give again a read. 
and this is the best way how we can check if you have good connection or not. Okay, you save the data again. Let's put the name, it's like for example, 111. And you open the program. Let's take the first the original one and the second one. And now let's go to see if we have difference is the same readings, then everything that was uh, done with success. It is not necessary to turn on the 12 volts, it works also like that. And this is the way how we can read and write the FRM2 using the CG100. I will make a different video using different programmer on this uh, FRM2. Also the Xprog, I will show you how you can make a good reading with the Xprog. I mine with the clone because I don't have the original one. And this is the way how we can read and write the data of this FRM2. I don't make all this procedure reading this EEPROM because it is very simple. EEPROM is just dissolved it as I said earlier and you put it on adapter. You can read it with all these programmers also with a cheap one with from the eBay with 15 euro. He can read this type of uh, memory. Okay, then I will close the video here and like always thank you for watching. Bye bye.